Jeez. in the kitchen today, a recipe that Miss Olivia herself says is the best peanut butter pie she's ever tasted. So here she is to tell us how it's made. Miss O? Hey, y'all. I am vigorously whisking together eight ounces of creamy peanut butter and eight ounces of cream cheese, both of which are at really, really, really room temperature. This is going to be a peanut butter pie, and I don't know how many recipes I've seen, probably as many as you have, but this is the best one I have ever tried. Uh, it calls for some lemon, uh, fresh lemon juice. Never heard of such a thing. But anyway, put about a tablespoonful in there, or a little less. And I don't know what it does to it, but it sure does make it nice. Next thing we're gonna add is a can of Eagle Brand sweetened condensed milk. And of course, all of you know that is not evaporated milk. It's the sticky stuff. And I'm getting it all over my hand. So you continue to whisk this and you can put it in the mixer if you want to. Uh, the mixture's just so noisy. I decided we'd just do it this way. You do want this to get nice and smooth because that's how smooth your pie is going to be. After we whisk this in, and it is nice and smooth, we'll see if we can get most of it off the whisk. And go back to the spatula and put most of a container of Cool Whip in it. Now you can put a whole one, but I don't like to lose the flavor of that really nice peanut butter. So you use as much or as, use at least half of it. Do use half of it. And continue to stir it. And since Russell's not here to scold us, we won't fold it in, we're gonna stir it. Then I have made a graham cracker crust. I'd a whole lot rather make pastry, it's not near as contrary. But I don't know what a store-bought graham cracker crust tastes like and I hope I never do. So make your own. If you don't want to make your own, I'll never know it. But they, when you cut them, you've got graham crackers for days. They won't stay together. Okay, we've got almost all, and I'm admitting to folding it just a little bit as opposed to stirring it. But it's nice and fluffy, so we're going to put it right in the pie crust. I made this earlier, toasted it in the oven so it would melt the sugar and stay together as well as possible. And then we're just gonna spread it out. And we will put it in the refrigerator so that it sets up nice and it will slice real pretty if you let it set up good. To tell you the truth, it's better with just a little dollop of whipped cream on it when you serve it. It's so rich and so sweet, the whipped cream will cut that richness, make it a really nice piece of pie. I hope all of you are well.